All right, so I've got three arches built and I'm just trying to get a good view of one of them. And I think this one's a good example. I got some good green bendable wood. It's not particularly strong on its own, but together with more beams, it'll be very strong. I didn't worry about trimming the branches. As a matter of fact, I bundled them together from both interwove them and then tied it off. I'm going to make a backstop for a reflector for the fire, so I'm going to use the pointy stick, heavy hat, axe, as a start. Uh, that's pretty good. Maybe one more piece. I got my last loop in and I haven't used any cordage on it yet. As you see, by keeping the smaller branches and the hooks and things like that, I've been able to actually interlace it. So in theory you could actually make the make this without any cordage. I will be tying this down, however. Okay, so I've had some problems with my lashing, so I've removed some of the lashing and I'm pushing this back a little closer to that one. And I'm going to do like I did with the fire reflector, I'm going to use some stakes into the ground. Seems there's an abundance of these kicking around. Whoa. There, that is much better. I've just cut a wee small saddle notch here. Now that thing won't roll around near as much. I could cover that with a tarp tonight and be fine. But I did get some good progress on. I have the bunk pretty much made. Maybe add a couple pieces to it, but I thought we could do the weight test. And friends, if it'll hold me, it'll hold you. So we got a little bit more done today. We got some side pieces in here. I know they don't look that great, but that's okay. We added a couple more hoops. We got a bunk, another side piece, we'll put one more across here and trim a little stuff off and then we'll put our cover on. We even got a fire reflector with uh, a little bit of height to it so 
she's only about a half an hour to an hour away from being quite livable.